Adjusting to life in a new city or country where the local culture might be very different to what you're used to can be challenging, which is why finding the right place to live is a key priority for many students. The University of Edinburgh places great emphasis on providing high quality accommodation across the city. For the majority of first year students coming from overseas, the university guarantees a place to stay. And with over 6,000 residential places available, there are many different types of accommodation to choose from. Accommodation is based across a number of locations, all within walking distance of the central campus. This is the university's main halls of residence at Pollock, where over 2,000 students live. Pollock House was a, a great place to live. I lived in Baird House, which is one of the smaller accommodations. And it's like a big community in your little house. You all eat together and walk to class together. You find people who have similar courses and similar schedules and always bump into the same people. So it was a really good opportunity. It's definitely worth the value. After the first year, I was a little bit nervous about finding accommodation. What I ended up doing is actually going through the university. On their website, they have a large database talking about kind of upper year accommodation. From there, I was able to find a flat that I live in now. Um, it's been great, and it's all kind of done through the online student portal as well, as far as funding, so it makes it very easy, and I can manage from anywhere. All of these rooms have their own broadband connection and telephone. Some also have a television and a private bathroom. I think the word I would use is easy it's it's a very easy existence because we've got this, these great new rooms um, that are really well provided in every respect the storage in particular is great i mean i've brought a lot of stuff with me and yet it's it's not too cluttered it's not too stressful because it all fits you've got just a brilliant hall provided for you ready to move into students in catered accommodation have their breakfast and evening meal provided for them during the week and brunch and dinner at weekends. A choice of dishes is always available, including vegetarian options. I think there's like a great selection of food. Um, there's always salad, um, lots of different uh, things to choose from. Um, there's always like dessert as well, which is nice. Um, and what else? Yeah, great variation basically. It's a restaurant, so they have the customer policy, so they don't think of us as students, they think of us as customers, which is really good. Undergraduate students can also choose self-catered accommodation, giving greater flexibility at a lower cost than catered options. i got a lot of friends that really enjoy Pollock and they love to be able to turn up, get given some food and then eat it and go. But for me, that's, it's just not something I'm attracted to. I want, I want to be able to eat what I want and when I want. And if I, if I get up at midnight and I want a pizza, I want that pizza. <laughs> <laughs> when I first arrived in Sheens, like, I uh, hadn't even unpacked my bags yet and there were already loads of people gathering to go for a night out and I was like, but I haven't unpacked, should I go and have some fun with these new guys I've ever met? And they were very persuasive and eventually they got me to go out and I had a great time and straight away I knew everyone, um, got, got a good handful of friends straight away and the rest of the week was just as fun. So it was a really welcoming atmosphere here. The university also offers a wide choice of self-catered accommodation across the city centre for postgraduate students. This is Milnes Court, located in the heart of the old town and just two minutes walk from the castle. For Shan Shan Zhang, a postgraduate student from China, central location and fantastic views over the city were the main factors in her choosing this flat. I think that for international students, um, university accommodation would be will be their first choice because um, it's run by in the university. It's uh, very safe and nice and this is this accommodation is an expected good. It's so great. It's in a very um, central place and um, very old, uh, full of history, uh, very close to the castle. I almost felt like I, <laughs> left, I live in the castle. Um, yeah, that's why I think it's very important and I love this place. The university appreciates that the needs of students with a partner or family are different and some accommodation, tailored to couples and children, is available on a first-come, first-served basis. Tammy Gadier from Australia shares this flat in the old town with her partner. The convenience of being able to sign a contract from overseas was a really big pulling point for me. 
um, and also finding out that it was right in the middle of the city centre was a really fantastic uh, discovery. Um, almost an accidental one, but still really great when I got here. Um, and also being able to move here with my partner, having the option of living in student accommodation with my partner. As well, it's really, really easy to get to uni from here. I only have to walk about seven minutes to get to the building I work from normally and uh, pretty much similar amount of time to get to the library. So um, very, very conveniently located in terms of just getting to places. Um, also very close to buses and trains, which is wonderful. Details of the accommodation guarantee and the options available at Edinburgh can be found on the website.